welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. This is gonna be a hefty video. This is gonna be a hefty video. The amount of product that I am looking at on my desk right now, it's a lot, but it's gonna be a really helpful video. This is going to be our Sephora Spring Savings Event Recommendation Guide. So if you have stumbled across this video, I want to preface by saying I have made a couple of these videos over the past few years that have sort of like different themes to them and I really try and switch up the products that I'm recommending each sale so that I'm not just making the same video over and over. So our last video was for the fall spring savings event and there are probably a few things in here that I am still recommending because there are certain things that have just not been beat in my opinion and I just want to give you the best of the best and tell you what I've been using. But a lot of this stuff is more like lightweight spring summery sort of vibe to it. I did my whole face with uh, a choice from each category. I went for like a sort of pinky, really springtime look. So I'm trying to choose things that are really fresh, light, and um, newer things that I've tried since the last recommendation video so that you guys um, have a lot of different references to see what you might be interested in. But I will link the other recommendation videos that I have in the description below if you wanna check those out as well or if you feel like this isn't your, your vibe. I do tend to get a lot of people that have never been on my channel before on these videos. So I also wanted to tell you I am 29 years old. I have a combo skin type that is sensitive and acne prone. I tend to avoid heavy fragrance in my makeup and I tend to go for the clean at Sephora items even though I don't believe in like clean marketing and greenwashing and all of that. It just happens that a lot of those products end up having ingredients that are better for sensitive skin. So we are going to talk about makeup, skincare, hair care. Um, I don't think I'm doing any body care in this one. So that's, that's our main there. And then a few fragrances as well at the end. So if you are looking for like an overall, what should I be picking up tried and true products, not necessarily new and shiny products, but just tried and true things I have tried for the past I don't know, five to six months, some of these over a year, then keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. We talk about skincare, hair care, body care. Um, we do vlogs, we do hauls, we do first impressions, speed reviews. We're basically old YouTube with new products and I would love to have you subscribe. So we're gonna start with makeup because that is typically what we talk about on this channel and then we'll go into a little bit of skincare, hair care, and round out with some perfumes. Also wanted to mention we'll probably be going a little quicker in this video so that it doesn't end up being super long. So if you want a more in-depth review on any one of these particular products, I probably have it somewhere on my YouTube channel if you search my name and the product name. I try really hard to make sure that my page is search optimized. Also, I probably have a short on it or a reel or a TikTok, something of the sort. Let's get into it. Let's start off with, and I always do this, I always just start my recommendation videos with how I would do my makeup because it just makes the most sense to me. So we're gonna start with our facial primers today. I have a couple options here for you and the vibe that I tend to go for just in life and the way that I do my makeup is very glowy, dewy, but not greasy, okay? I don't want the look of like a grease slick, an oil slick, but I want that natural sort of dewy look to the skin. We will talk about powders as well, don't worry. And um, these three are uh, the options that I have for you, LOL. We'll talk about this. Actually, we're gonna save this for the end because I actually used this to kind of set my face today, but we'll talk about these two for now. So today I used the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. I've talked about this into the ground if you've been on my channel before. This is a really, really unique hydrating and skin loving primer. It's also just a skincare serum. You could easily use this in your skincare routine and not in your makeup or vice versa. I tend to use this just as a makeup primer because this goes out of stock a lot and it uh, is not on sale very often. This would be a great time to try this out if you were interested in it. Also, just before we get into the rest of it, I will have all of the details for the sale in the description. So like, I'm not going to say the code and all that stuff. Just look in the description. I will have the links, the codes, and the timing for each one, just so you know. Okay, anyways, highly recommend this if you are a person who has dry or dehydrated skin, and I've noticed how much of a difference it makes in my makeup when I use this, and then my skin tints and my foundations just sit so beautifully on top because my skin is well hydrated, but not 
oily, really unique. As you can see, it's a dual phase serum. You shake it up and it sort of mixes those ingredients together and it is really, really unique and I've never seen anything like it in the space so I want to recommend it to you. The other option is for more of a visual glow on the skin that also is going to hydrate your skin but it has more of a moisturizer slash gel texture and that is the Say Glowy Super Gel. I have mine here in the shade Star Glow but I also own the other shade in Sun Glow which is a deeper bronze shade, better for deeper skin tones, or to be used as a product to help match your self tan, which is what I typically do. But this product is a moisturizer slash gel cream that gives you just this beautiful glow to your skin that blends in really lightweight and just leaves a really nice sheen. It's not too much. It's never glittery or shimmery it's just glowy and it hydrates the face and gives you a gorgeous dew especially if you're going in with a matte foundation or skin tint and you wanted to liven up your skin a little bit highly highly recommend it and say is just amazing as a brand i am a person who loves skin tints that's like my number one favorite product to test is skin tints and concealers obviously and lip products and i decidedly am making this my one recommendation for the sale Although I will say in the links that I have down below, I will have a couple other recommendations per category of things that I'm not exactly talking about because I don't think I have time in the video to cover everything. So if you do want to see like a really, really in-depth list, it will all be in my shop, my and in the description, but we're not going to be talking about every single one in this video, if that makes sense. The ones that we are gonna be talking about are the ones that I'm highly, highly recommending to you. And this is my favorite skin tint of all time. It is the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. This is absolutely incredible. This is what I used today. I choose to use this over using foundations, over using um, SPF skin tints. Like this product is just exactly what I would create if I were to make a skin tint. It doesn't have an SPF in it, so keep that in mind. It pairs very well with their SPF, which we'll talk about when we get into skincare a little bit, but it looks so beautiful on the skin. It doesn't settle into your fine lines, and I think that there is a shade for everyone. It's absolutely stunning. If you haven't tried this on my recommendation, I gotta know why. Like, what's going on? Why don't you trust me? Give it a gar. Give it a gar. Same with these two foundations, specifically the one that I have recommended the most over the past year has been the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. This actually has an SPF 25 in it. I would say this is a good medium, could be built up to medium full coverage foundation. In the summer and spring, I wear shade 200 and it's absolutely stunning. It is a beautiful foundation. I would say it is a thicker cream consistency and gives you a natural to glowy finish. It's not as matte as a matte foundation, but it's also not as dewy as like the NARS Light Reflecting. It's a great middle of the road foundation and I really think that everyone would get a kick out of using that. And the highest end option that I wanted to mention is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. This is newer to me. I tried this in the winter this year for the first time and became absolutely addicted. I actually got a sample of this in a Sephora order and I used it and immediately purchased it. This is a very expensive foundation. It's like upwards of $70, but it is the most unique foundation I've ever tried. The best my skin has ever looked is when I pair the Say Glowy Super Gel with this foundation. This duo is unmatched. I have yet to find a foundation duo that looks as glowy and natural on my skin as these two. This is also an incredibly thin foundation, like watery almost, if not more viscous than water. And it's so, so amazing. I promise you, if you haven't tried this and you're curious about it, it gives you the most skin-like finish absolutely stunning and you might as well pick up the say glowy super gel at the same time and try it together because you will not regret it i had a hard time picking what concealers i wanted to recommend in this video because i have tried a lot of good ones this year and i had two originally actually in this video that i decided to switch out for the two that i'm going to talk about because these are two that i use a lot and I think they have different purposes in my routine. So one is the Main Match Concealer from Colfi, and the other is the Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer from Too Faced. I used the Ethereal Light today in this video, and it just gives you the lightest amount of coverage while really brightening up 
the under eye. I wear shade Graham Cracker. I could probably go a shade darker in the summer. This is an Italian formulation and product and it is so beautiful. It just sinks into the skin very nice and it doesn't give you too much of a do. For example, I really do enjoy the Say uh, concealer, but I don't know if you can tell that when it's laying on its side, it's like covered in its own oil because it has so many oils in it, it like seeps out of its own packaging. Now that to me is slightly too hydrating and too glowy. Whereas this still gives you a bit of that glow, but it looks really natural and powder on top actually does mattify it. Whereas with the Say, it doesn't do anything because it has so much oil, the powder is just eaten up under your eyes. So. This is my recommendation right now for the lighter coverage kings and queens out there. And if you wanna keep that glowy, dewy, natural, hydrated look to your under eye, but you maybe need a little bit more coverage, that's where I would recommend the Main Match Concealer from Colfi. I think I chose this as my favorite concealer from the entire year. I'm so glad that my favorite concealer got discontinued, which was the Tarte Hydro Sealer, because I got to try so many other really, really good ones that have now made the top of my list, and this is absolutely one of them. You're probably gonna see a couple different products from Colfi in this list because this brand is just incredible. It's amazing, and I love what they're doing. They make really intentional products, and this concealer was their first launch, and it pushed them to stardom. I'm not even kidding. If you can have one product and it can do that for you, that's incredible. This looks good on everyone and they are expanding their shade range right now. So I think everyone will have a shade and I highly recommend you try it out. Next up is powder. And I literally have one powder to show you and one powder in my list because it is the one powder I use constantly, consistently, and what I take with me when I travel or when I'm home, regardless of how large the packaging is, and that is the Kosa's Cloud Set Powder. I have been singing the praises of this powder since it came out because it is that good. This is the first one I had, and you can see like it's pretty much flat now at this point. This is a domed product. It's a baked formula. It has an entire shade range, including a transparent shade. I wear the shade Feathery. It works gorgeous under your eyes, but it also doesn't completely mattify your products. If, what it does is it helps sort of like set it down and add a satin finish to your skin, which is so incredible and hard to find in a powder. And I actually do prefer a pressed baked formula like this over a loose formula. It's also really easy to travel with. I wish they made this in a mini so badly because it takes up so much room in my travel bag. But if you haven't tried this, you absolutely should, especially if you are someone like me who likes more of an everyday makeup sort of look, but maybe you're oily or you feel like your mascara transfers or whatever reason, you should always have a powder on deck somewhere in your collection and this should be the one that it is. I'm just saying. I'm very, very passionate about it. Okay, moving on to bronzers. I have two that I'm mentioning in this video, but one in particular that I'm really encouraging you to try, and that is the Tower 28 Sculptino Soft Cream Contour. I have mine in the shade Getty, comes in four shades. They consider this to be a contour. I consider it to be a bronzer. These are really warm. If you are a classic contour person, you're not gonna like this. If you are a classic warm so slash middle of the road kind of bronzer person, you're gonna love this. Especially if you've tried other Tower 28 products, like their blushes. Their blushes are incredible. This is a very similar formula. And as you can see, unlike their actual bronzer formula, there is no shimmer or glitter in this product. Their actual bronzer has a bit of shimmer and cause that's, and I never use it because of that. So having this one, which has, in my opinion, a better shade for my undertone, the other one's a little bit orange and has no glitter or shimmer in it. I am pulling for this all the time. It's what I have on today. It goes on absolutely beautiful and I think every skin tone find, can find a shade in this range and they're also 20 bucks, like pretty inexpensive. The other option is also a shade range that's recently been expanded and that is the Say Sun Melt. These are big ass bronzers. There's no scent to them. I love Say Beauty. Uh, there's a reason why I always have them in my recommendation videos. I wear the shade Medium Bronze. They also just extended their shade range into the lighter and darker sectors of ranges. 
I love this product. It's super easy to use. It does have a very warm undertone in comparison to the Tower 28. So I think it just depends on uh, what you tend to go for and what your skin type is and what your skin color is. They're both cream bronzers. They're both a satin finish and they both look absolutely beautiful with every blush every highlighter. I think it's really just going to be a matter of finding that perfect shade for you in either one of those and I promise you will love it. So typically my favorite category to talk about is blush and like I said this year it's kind of gone more into skin tints and concealers but I do have a few blushes that I, I feel like I haven't talked about quite as much as my usuals. I almost always recommend the Tower 28 blushes. I'm pretty sure last year I recommended the Say Beauty blushes. I'm looking in all of these and um, I just have two two workhorse products that I really love to use that I don't talk about as much that I want to mention in this video. The first one is the first one is the Mare Beauty Flush Balms. Specifically, I wanted to mention these because their shade range is just so stunning. Every shade range that Merit comes out with, like every product, the colors themselves are absolutely stunning. The colors are always hitting the nail on the head with like these warm natural undertones to them. They're not bright pink, they're not bright red. They have like this warm rosiness to each and every one of them and I absolutely love them. So I'm wearing the shade Fox today, which is like a really nice terracotta brown, which is my favorite kind of shade. And I promise you, you will love this formula. It's super easy to use. I think they have shades for everybody and you can apply them directly on the face or you can apply them to a brush, which is what I like to do. They give you a really soft, natural, dewy finish. In fact, I feel like you don't even need a highlighter when you wear these and they're very sheer so you can build them up or wear them really sheer. Use your fingers. However you want to go about it, you can also use them on your lips. I love Merit Beauty and I think what they're doing is really cool and I think you will absolutely love their flush bombs. But if you're looking for more of a pigmented finish to your cheeks, you want something a little bit more opaque and um, you like the shades that Merit has but maybe you, know, you just want something that's gonna last a little longer, I am recommending the Nude Sticks Nudies Mattes. These are stunning, okay? So these are matte cream products. Really that means they have a satin finish rather than being super dewy like the Merit Beauty ones. And these are my two favorite shades. The original favorite shade that I have is called Sunkissed. It's a beautiful, again, hate to say it, terracotta brown red shade. These look gorgeous on everybody, but especially in the summer, it gives you that sun-kissed look like you've been outside. It's just stunning and I love wearing that shade specifically over the bridge of my nose as well. Another cool thing about these is that they come with a brush on the other end so you can always apply it on your face and then brush it out with your product and these also unscrew so um, you know if you wanted to take it on the go for whatever reason you could do that. And the other shade that I have been obsessing over recently is actually an extension of the Sunkissed line. This is in Sunkissed Cool and it has more of a pinkish undertone to it even though it's still warm obviously because Sunkissed is a warm shade. It just pulls more pink rather than more brown and it's just a great addition to my collection and something that I haven't really like I haven't really had a love of a specific blush color like I have this one in a long time. These also look beautiful on the lips as a matte lipstick and they last a little bit longer. They have more opacity. They're more um, you know they're just more pigmented on the cheeks. So these are both amazing options for your blushes. So getting into highlighters I, I really have one that I have been loving lately and I'll be honest this year I don't really know what happened but I have not been as into um, highlighters as I have in the past. Like I usually am obsessed with finding the perfect highlighter, but as I've gotten more and more into just having naturally glowy skin and glowy makeup in general, I realize a lot of the time I don't actually need a pinpointed highlighter on the face because I'm already getting that from a lot of the other products I have on. However, I do think that this one is special and it is something I've mentioned before in favorites videos and that is the RMS Mini Luminizer X Quad. So this has all of their luminizers in one one package. It has the Luminizer X, Nude, Champagne Fizz, and Champagne Rosé. And literally, I take a brush that is like dedicated just to this palette, and I just put my brush in all four of them and, and slap it on my face, and it gives you the most dewy, kissed by like a humid day sort of look. Like, I don't want to say sweaty because that's going to come across bad, but kind of sweaty. In the best way, it makes you look, it makes you look like a goddess. I mean, look at me. 
look at me. It's not too much. It's never too much. I will say, you know, when you first put it on, it's slightly tacky. And as it sits into the skin, it starts to melt in. It looks super natural. This is for my people who want to look natural AF. And also I like that you can try all four shades. And if there's a shade in here that you tend to like the most, you can go and buy the full size. I love this palette. It's also great for traveling. It is just a workhorse and I use it all the time. Looks so good. All right, let's get into some lips, shall we? I love lip products and this year for me, like 2022 into 2023 has been the year of the freaking lip liner for me. I was never a lip liner person until I started trying out some more Cole style, like actual pencil style lip liners. And then I became obsessed. So the two that I want to recommend to you are from Makeup Forever and Tower 28. So Makeup Forever makes my favorite lip liner formula and colors. I prefer a lip liner that comes in an actual pencil because I feel like they end up being more matte and last longer on the lips. And then also the shade range of a product is really important and you know anyone can make a lip liner but can you make unique really fun yet uh, nude and interesting different kinds of shades like a cooler shade you know some really deep purples and plums that is what makeup forever does these are also multi-use I use these on my eyes as eyeliner as well they are pricey which is why I also wanted to mention my favorites from Tower 28 these are the multi liners slash one liners and they also come in as you can see similar sort of shades as the Makeup Forever. They're also just a, a pencil format, so they're gonna last on the lips, and these are really inexpensive. I wanna say they're like 12 to $14, and they'll also last you a long time, and these are more recently at Sephora. They were not for a while, and now they are. Either one of those formulations I highly recommend. I am using the Multi-Liner in Fill Me In today on my lips, and then we'll talk about what I have on over top. I have so many lip products, you guys. It's probably the product that I have the most of, and I don't wanna overwhelm you with choices and things to pick out, so I am going to give you essentially one to two options of a glossy finish and a lip oil, because that's what I wear the most. Like, to be honest, I'm not a huge lipstick girl. You guys know that. I prefer like a soft satin or a dewy finish to my lips. And these have been the product of the year for me. And you probably already know what it is. It is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balms. These are all of the shades. I do have the clear, but it's downstairs in my bathroom. And all of these, I do believe, are available on Sephora. Specifically, wanted to mention their two new shades, which are Cherry and Pink Sugar. I'm wearing the shade Pink Sugar today. It's a really nice, soft, light pink. I usually go for more of like the cherry type shade, but... This one is really nice over a lip liner because it has a little bit more of a sheerness to it and it works super well with a light pink lip liner. These, this one specifically smells like sugary cotton candy. Oh, it's so, so, so good. My favorite in the bunch, I think, is probably um, brown sugar and cherry, more of the brownie nudies and the reds. These are stunning. I also love the shade Poppy, which is more of a coral color. If you haven't tried these, you probably have. And I would recommend grabbing these during the sale because they're so fun. And they're gonna come out with more shades this year for sure. And I can't wait to see what they come out with next. And the other lip product I wanna talk about is something from a brand I feel like doesn't get enough hype. And that is the brand Amy Collet. This is a um, black woman owned brand that is specifically made and formulated for melanated skin. So I don't own a lot of their skin products. I don't have a shade in a lot of their range, but I do own their lip oils and they are amazing. So I have two here. This one's in the shade Smitten. It's like a clear, like pinky red. And then this one is in the shade Amy Collet. Is this one just the shade name that, of her name? It might be. Okay, go off queen. These are amazing. Um, they feel so high end hydrating amazing on the lips I, i'll put this one on right now for you actually just to go ahead and why not why not show you what it looks like again this one's in the shade smitten and it's like a really nice pinkish red also really cool doe foot it has like little indentations on it so it really grabs your lips which is awesome it's got like a nice thick juicy consistency oh it's so pretty it feels like a cloud on your lips and this sort of shade this reddish pink Fuchsia shade looks so good in the summer with like a bronzy eye. Ooh, 
amazing. But then there's also a really nice chocolatey brown that I have been loving wearing over the Benetint and it gives you like this nude reddish flush to the lips. So pretty. If you haven't tried those and you've been looking for a new lip tint or a new um, oil to try out, highly, highly recommend. All right, moving into eyeshadow, mascara, eyebrows. I don't have too many options here because I tend to go for, um, like I use a lot of Ulta favorites for my eyeshadows. Like a lot of stuff from About Face is pretty much what I always wear. But I do have two things that I wanted to mention in terms of eyeshadow. And the first one is again from Colfi. And I actually worked with them on this campaign. This is a brand new product. And these are their Zari Eyes eyeshadows. These are a whipped textured eyeshadow. And I think that the shades and the formula are so freaking cool. Look at these shades, you guys. Like how fun is that we've got some really nice neutrals and some really fun pops of color my favorite shades are bronze brocade and sitara sparkles so this is the shade bronze brocade it is like a literal mousse whipped texture you can use a brush to get a really light view of it on your lids or you can use your fingers and get an insane amount of pigment i used the shade chamak chalo with my fingers the other day and it was stunningly gorgeous Today I have on the, the shade Sitara Sparkles. It's like this pinkish hue. And I used my fingers but very lightly and just got this really nice soft wash of pink. They're absolutely stunning. Like I'm definitely bringing these to Coachella with me. They are very pricey. They're like $30 a pop. So I wanted to mention it. If you were interested in trying during the sale would be a great time to try those out. And I think the colors are so fun. On the opposite side of that was something that's more wearable, but also expensive. This is something I mention in every video because it is my go-to travel palette. And that is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. And this is in the shade Light, I believe. This has everything you need in it. There's a cream blush, a highlighter, and the most stunning natural and neutral eyeshadow palette down at the bottom. I bring this with me every time I travel. Look how thin it is. And it's just that workhorse product. The colors always work. I always get a good look. And I also love the cream blush formula. I don't tend to use that. I tend to bring my own thing when I'm going places. But if you are a person who doesn't have a lot of space in your travel on, in your carry on, and you wanted something that kind of can do it all for you, it's any of these. There's a ton of shades of these too. And she just dropped some pink ones, which were super cute. But that is like a workhorse product for me that I always feel like I want to mention because I use it all the time when I'm traveling and I feel like I don't mention it enough. So for mascaras this year, for my recommendations, I was going to talk about more tubing mascara options because if you're new here, I'm obsessed with tubing mascaras. I love recommending them and I've tested like every single one that exists. But recently I have been on my brown mascara game hard. Like I am obsessed. It's what I've been wearing every day for the past month at least. So so these are the two that I have been going back to so often. One is from YSL. This is the Lash Clash and it's what I'm wearing today. This color is like so brown that it's almost burgundy. It is so pretty chocolatey warm and looks really beautiful on green eyes which is what I have and hazel eyes and of course brown eyes but it just makes your eyes pop regardless and gives you more of a subtle effect to your lashes because it has that brown color to it it's also a natural bristle wand which is my jam same with this one this is the Too Faced better than sex, sex mascara in chocolate this is more of a cool tone chocolate brown it's still warm it's still warm but in comparison to the YSL it's a cooler tone shade but this one is probably better for all skin tones because it has more of that sort of cool toned finish to it but it is a true brown I also love this wand this packaging is super high end and I just think that these are the best brown mascaras that I have found I will say Glossier and we'll get into Glossier a little bit also has a brown tubing mascara and it's just not my favorite formula I don't love the lash lick but if you wanted to try that out that color is also very nice but these two are unique and I just love them so much and felt like I had to tell you about it. For eyebrows, I really don't think you're gonna be surprised. I'm so glad that Glossier is now at Sephora because there are a lot of products from Glossier that I use in my routine that I always felt like I couldn't really talk about all the time because 
it was like you'd have to make a whole separate order and I like to make things as easy as possible for you. But now that they're at Sephora, we can talk about a lot of their stuff, including their brow flick. This is just the best eyebrow pen. It works so well to create hair like strokes on the face. I think I have mine in brown or dark brown, brown. And it just, it's so easy to use and gives you the fluffiest, most pretty brows of all time. I absolutely love this. It's one of Glossier's best products. And then I've been using, of course, my Kosas Air Brow in the shade Auburn. This product has the most amazing shade range for eyebrows. So if you have gray hair, if you have red hair, if you have dark red hair, if you have black hair, if you have blonde hair, you will find a shade in the air brow from Kosas and it leaves your brows looking so fluffy and never like too laminated, you know? It's fluffy but not stuck to your face sort of lamination, which is what I can get behind and I recommend this stuff to everyone all the time. That was a lot of makeup, you guys. That was a lot of makeup. And I hope that you found something in here that was helpful before we start to move on to some skincare picks. Um, I'm not gonna talk about every single category because again, let's keep it cute. I have all of them linked down below, including some options for different uh, steps in your routine that I don't have with me right now. But I wanna start by talking about some sunscreen options because these are things that you wanna make sure that you are using every day and that your makeup is looking good with each one. And these are my two favorites from Sephora by far. This is the Summer Fridays Shade Drops, it's the Say Beauty Sun Visor. These are both mineral sunscreens and they leave a gorgeous finish on the face. The uh, Sun Visor is more of like a really thick mousse that leaves an insane glow on the skin. Probably would not work on all skin tones. Whereas the Summer Friday Shade Drops, also mineral, it literally blends in like a chemical sunscreen. It is incredible. I would recommend this for people who have oily skin and this pairs so well with their skin tint, like those two together, it's a dynamic duo and I think you will absolutely love them. Both are easy and good for sensitive skin. And I also wanted to mention a lip SPF. This is something that I've had for a while, but I didn't start using until recently as I was on vacation. These are the K-Skin Lip Balm with SPF 30. I have two shades. This one is just a clear, and this one is called Bad Gal Berry. These are literally the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balms with an SPF 30. I'm not even kidding. Like, they leave this beautiful glow glossy feel thick juicy plump feel to the lips with an spf 30 there's also a pink shade that's not quite as like berry forward um the applicator is the same as summer fridays as well and then the clear shade is great to use when you're out and about throughout the day like it's so important to keep your lips also protected from the sun especially if you are on vacation on the beach etc Highly recommend these and honestly, I wore these on vacation even at night because I just loved the way that they felt on my lips. And I thought it was something different that I wanted to make sure you guys knew about because I feel like not enough people are talking about that. I have two recommendations from In Beauty Project. I am so impressed with In Beauty Project and I feel like this year they have been absolutely killing every single launch that they do. And two products that they've released recently, these are also um, Sephora exclusive, which is why I wanted to bring it up. The Retinol Remix and the bright and tight eye cream. So this eye cream has like a little bit of a um, like skin tone color, my skin tone color to it. So it kind of like helps conceal your under eyes while still hydrating and like giving you a little bit of a glow to your skin. It is so pretty and it just leaves a really nice hydrating finish to the skin. It also has vitamin C, tranexamic acid. It's a great, eye cream and um, it's been sold out many, many times. So I would definitely add that to cart as well as the retinol remix. This is a retinol serum. Everything that In Beauty Project makes is good for sensitive skin. And if you're looking for a retinol to try in your routine and you wanna try something that's not gonna irritate your skin, but is gonna help with wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, I would totally recommend the Retinol Remix. This has 1% vegan retinol with peptides and tranexamic acid as well to help with lightening dark spots. Um, I also have other retinol and skincare recommendations in my past Sephora videos. I don't change out my skincare as much as, I don't know, like a skincare creator, which I am as well because I have sensitive skin. So when something works for me, it works for me forever. And um, all of those recommendations are also in that past video if you are interested. In terms of hair care this year, I honestly have been using a different brand. I always recommend Crown Affair and I still do to this day. Like I'm obsessed with Crown Affair. I love their shampoo and conditioner and it is the best maintenance shampoo and conditioner ever. 
But I went to Aspen, Colorado with Ulta Beauty this year and we had um, Olaplex as a sponsor and they gave us these giant jugs of their number four and five, which is their bond maintenance shampoo and conditioner. And I have been using them literally for like four months and I'm not even halfway done. And it's just so good. Like I am an Olaplex girly. I love their stuff. Everything that I've ever used from them works so well. And it's just a great maintenance shampoo and conditioner. I know a lot of people don't like Olaplex, but I just wanna be upfront with you guys. I absolutely love them. I think that their products are amazing. And the other hair products that I have to recommend to you today are also from Olaplex. I have been using the number nine bond protector as my heat protectant on my hair. And I just love it so much. This heat protects up to 450 degrees and it also helps with detangling and adding shine to your hair. It is a clear jelly-like formula so it's not gonna weigh your hair down like a hair oil might. And you can use a lot of it in your hair and even up to your roots if you want while also protecting your ends. I like to mix this in with some of their other products but I feel like this one is super special. It really improves the manageability of your hair and softens it as well. It's just kind of like, again, I say a workhorse Really, really love this one. Use it every time I wash my hair. And also wanted to recommend their hair oil. Number seven bonding oil is so freaking good. First of all, it smells incredible. Like Olaplex has a scent that just like makes me feel luxurious. This is such a cool bottle because it has a little stopper in the top. So it keeps you from uh, like dumping out too much onto your hands. It's a really lightweight oil. So it's not gonna weigh your hair down if you're a person like me who has finer, thinner hair. And it's also a heat protectant. So you could use this on your damp hair if you have frizzy hair or curly hair and you feel like you need a little bit more manageability. Totally check this out. Like this duo is unmatched. I love it so much. And there are so many other hair brands that I love. Like I said, I absolutely love everything from Crown Affair, but I feel like I've talked about them for like years at this point. So I did just want to give you the update that I am loving Olaplex right now. And last but not least, let's talk about a few perfumes. I really only have two up here, but I, I want to talk about one, one more actually. So I guess I'll just, I'll get this out of the way by saying my signature scent is Clean Classic, the Clean Reserve, Clean Classic in skin. This is my signature scent. I wear it almost every single day, just saying. So that's always going to be on my recommendations list but pretty much everything from clean reserve is a win in my book and this is their newest scent it's called sparkling sugar i think i talked about this one i'll read you the notes if i can find it so the notes on this one it's a warm and sweet gourmand in this warm and spicy category with key notes of black currant peach nectar and white musk which is like yeah sign me the frick up it's just so light and airy and sweet and just smells like a springtime cute girl that's all i'll say springtime cute girl if that's you buy it. The other um, Glossier product that I wanted to mention is of course Glossier U. If you are a person who likes like signature skin scents like I do, which is why the skin scent is my signature, then you should definitely pick up Glossier U. This has like a really soft, light, sweet, peppery scent to it. It's supposed to change on every single person, which technically all perfumes smell different on different people, but this one is really unique. It actually does smell quite different on each person. I love the bottle. There is a reason people like this so much and it seems to be like an aphrodisiac. Men love this scent. My husband doesn't ever notice anything so so I might as well roll in the damn mud like a pig. Maybe he'll notice me then. Okay, so then the very last one is a brand new perfume that I wanted to mention because I think that it's really unique and it's from the brand Fleur. I actually haven't had like any scents from Fleur that I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. Until this one. And this one is called Solar Power. It is their brand new perfume for the spring and summer. And the keynotes are sun-drenched bergamot, orange flower, and solar musk. So I'm obsessed with orange. I love the scent of orange. And this gives you the scent memory of being on vacation with your family but without it smelling like sunscreen which i think is amazing it's really hard to walk that line of having like a really fun summery scent the minute you put coconut in something it starts to smell like a sunscreen and this one does not smell like that it smells just really, really unique. I've never smelled anything like it, but again, it reminds me of a vacation. And I think that it's one I'm going to bring with me to um, Coachella and have it be like my scent for the week while I'm there and like kind of relate those two together of like being out in the desert with this solar power scent. It is really, really unique. And I think um, if you're looking for something different, you should definitely try it out. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna talk about today because guys, 
I'm overwhelmed. Um, I think we covered a little bit in each category. Again, like I said, if there's something, a category that's not here that you're looking for, it's probably in the description box below. I also already have my Sephora sale wish list slash like my cart um, up. So if you want to see what I'm going to pick up and probably review once I get back from Coachella, go check that out. Also, I'll leave that in the description box below. I'm gonna go drink some coffee. I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you end up picking any of these up and what you think about them or if you have any recommendations for the rest of the community in the comments below. Happy shopping and I will see you in the next video really soon. Bye!